All right, how to use attributions for course content. All right, so all course content has to have a traceable source, including the content that you create. Attributions are how you mark the content in your course as OER for present and future users. The process is the same for all content. Right? So if you have text on a page, at the bottom of the page you should have attribution information. If you have a document, then there needs to be attribution information on the document. If you have an image in your course, you need to have attribution information. So what is an attribution? An attribution is not a citation. Now a citation like MLA or APA, those have to be those are very prescriptive, very precise. Um, attributions are not that prescriptive. The process is a best practice. It's not a rule. So that so there are variants that are acceptable. So let's take for example this um, this diagram, this chart. Okay, there are four things that we need, if possible. The four things are a title, an author, a source, and a license. Now, you can see that this chart has been attributed because we see the title is found here. Right? We've got the author. Right? It came from the Florida Virtual Campus. It's not a person, unfortunately. If it were a person, we would definitely put their name there. Source, we've got the source here, and we also have the license. Okay? So you can type this information. That's fine. Again, this would be for anything in the course text that you type, text that you bring in from another OER resource, right? images, documents, everything needs to come from somewhere and we have to attribute or give credit to the source that it comes from, even if it's you. Right? So again, we can type out these four things for, thing, for items in your course. It is also possible to use this handy dandy super amazing CC license chooser. Okay, so if you're if you don't want to type it out or if you're not sure, you can use this. Let's take a look. So let's say that you have typed up a Word document in your course, and it has a lot of, you know, information in there for the course, and you need to give credit to yourself for having authored and created that content. So what you can do is you can come here and say, yes, I know the license I need even if you don't know the license you need because on this step you can just here are all the licenses you can click on a license to see what the permission level is for each license so you can go through here and look and say oh, okay this one looks good now it's important to note as you may have already learned in the course ND is not an option the reason we cannot choose ND is because it stands for no derivatives as we can see here no derivatives means no adaptations of your work, right? Now, if you have an item in your course that somebody cannot take and mix and then reuse, then it goes against the spirit of OER, right? If we're creating something in the spirit of OER, then those that gain access to this content should have the right to delete content, mix the content, add to the content, right? So, ND, off limits. The rest of it, totally fair. I'm just going to choose CCBY because it's common. I want somebody to give me attribution for the work. So, I'm just going to click next. Okay, so the Word document. I might just put the, the title of the document. I'm going to put my name here. And you can see how the attribution is being created over here. Or kind of the the citation but it's not really citation but anyway so I'm just gonna continue on here if I have this work linked in like um, I don't know my office 365 uh, content or my Google Docs or something like that I can put a link to it here um, if I have a website I can put that there um, and then I can just put the date that it was created and done once I'm done what I can do is just click copy for that work and come over to my course and you know I could just paste it underneath you know whatever image or document or whatever it is that I'm going to use alright so that's it for this video and at how to do an attribution be sure and read the rest of this information um, super important as far as where to place the attribution supplemental copy content that is copyrighted there's a lot of other information in here that you should read but um, 
here's a great example of a photo with attribution. Um, you'll notice that it's very limited, right? Now with photos, you'll notice that sometimes when you uh, get a photo from uh, a place, a couple of really good places to get uh, open or Creative Commons licensed photos is uh, Pixabay, Pexels, Flickr, um, a lot of those places have openly licensed content and you have to find the license. Okay, um, In many instances this is all that you need uh, a link that will take the person back to where the uh, where it originates from uh, they can see the the license associated with it etc so all right but we do want to try if possible to include these these items for the content that we have all right and that's it for this video we'll talk to you later